Famiclones, right? Especially the handheld variety. I don't know, it's something that draws me to them. It's like, I don't know, it's like stink to a fly. I just have to have more of it. And AliExpress definitely delivered. Well, technically you guys ordered it and I delivered because I still, the funding for what I get here on this channel to look at and show you lovely people has been because of you guys on Patreon that support me and continue to support me. So thank you guys. You guys seriously rule. Um, but yeah, it's time for another Famiclone and trust me, it ain't any better than the rest of them. I really wish, I know Ashens has said this before and I think I've said it too, but I really wish I had like a conveyor belt here just to kind of carry mine like and then present it all. Oh, and something comes up in the back to tilt it up like that would be great. Oh, maybe center it. So yeah, this is the barcodes in the way. Ultra thin mini game player product description. Up to 500 classic games. Yeah, they're up to 500 games. So there could be 500 games on here. There could also be seven games. You're going to take it. You're going to like it. Uh, digital game system with full color screen. Easy carry play. All right. Seems fairly well enough. Yeah, English is fine. I don't know. There's something about the design that really drew it to me. Like, that, that looks like something out of a Tiger Electronics R-Zone game. And that D-pad is almost just a square there's barely dedicated up down left rights yeah we gotta take a look at this thing here extract and here we are so we get our oh still using micro usb well you know in an ultra thin package i guess i could see it micro usb is a little thinner we did get our lanyard so we can we can relax we can rest easy that we got our lanyard i was going to raise hell with aliexpress if i did not get my lanyard so this one actually, not only do you get the always hilarious instructions, but the last part of it is a warranty card. You fill out name, like, username. What are you supposed to put for username? Product model. I don't know, this one. Oh, probably GC56. Purchase date, zip code, detailed fault. <laughs> okay, fine. If you literally scratching my forehead here at the thought of this, like, Fine, if you want to stand behind your product and have a warranty, that's great. Obviously. Who's the company? Do you see a company on here? Because I don't. Warranty with who? <laughs> Might as well be a warranty with the neighbor's dog. It has just as much legal validity. Um, do we have any good English on this? Let's see. Uh, of course, I'm going to suggest pausing and reading if you want to get a good looky. Because as much as I would love to read all the funny things on here, we don't have time for all the funny things. Uh, product size in millimeters. Focus on game development and manufacturing. Is this instructions or your resume? Maybe it's a cry for help. Uh, seems to be matters needing attention. Read the manual carefully. Small parts, high temperature. Um, yeah, and that's it. The rest is in Chinese. I can't read that, so I'm going to put that to the side there. I'll fill out my warranty card later. Ooh, we still got the filmy film. You know what? At least they give you that. Well, they didn't give us anything because, yeah, that didn't leave a screen protector behind. That just took off this top film. So whatever. At least it's all shiny and new. It's not shiny and new. Someone already put a fingerprint on it. Was that me? I don't know. How's the device itself? I think we might have to take this one apart. This already looks hmm, a little interesting. Maybe I can get a uh, flathead in there and kind of pry it apart. What do you think? Uh, what do you think? Leave it down below in the comment. No, I'm not going to fish for comments like that. That's just insulting to the viewer. I hate when people do that. <laughs> Sorry, that was a mini rant. So yeah, it's incredibly squishy. I mean, the D-pad does feel like it has some sort of dome piece in the middle, which is fine, so you don't have to... So you can't... Well, I was going to say, so you can't press all four directions together. However, since this is a thin rubber membrane... You can press all four directions in at the same time because it's rubber. It doesn't matter. So easy there, camera. Did you? You guys saw that, right? The camcorder just tried to leap off the table. I'm leaving that in. He tried. The camcorder knows how terrible this is going to be. He tried to escape. All right. I've been doing this channel since 2006. I've never had my camera try to escape. That should be a good sign, if anything. already starting off fantastic <laughs> that is way too loud there we go there's a quiet mode and everything was better start all right we have names that we would never 
recognized because they are just arbitrary titles that are given to this random assortment of ROMs that they nipped off of some torrent that's had cedars for the past 30 years. I don't know. I'm just making up a scenario. As we go through the list here, and you can see just a sampling of these fantastic names here. Uh, these are starting to loop, I think. Okay, whatever Hoodle is, I think we're going to have to play it. Give us Hoodle. Literally, this is just pinball. Unless you change something else about it. I cannot see the buttons. Uh, this is literally just pinball. Get out of here. Reset. Ah, God, the sound resets back to full bl blast. Okay, apparently we started the first game, so we're going to play it. Whatever that w assortment of letters is supposed to mean. That's a scary guy. Start. Wait a minute. This is, um... Uh, what is this? Snow Brothers? I think, yeah, there's the Snowball. This is Snow Brothers, just with an ugly palette and maybe a sprite swap. Well, for the main character, at least. I don't know about the enemies. This is just insulting the Snow Brothers. Now, get this out of here. Reset. Oh, that blasted song. What I love about the quality of this handheld is the start button is right under the screen here, which that in itself is fine. However, when you press it, you can see the screen ripples. The screen doesn't really like too much when you press start. <laughs> I feel like every time I... Ugh, every time I restart it, I need to mute it. No, I feel like every time I press start, I have to apologize to the screen. Uh, what do we got here? Woody Story. What? Oh, God, maybe I don't want to know. Licensed by Nehuden. Excuse me? Did you just swap out the... Oh, this is, um... The Jungle Book, the NES game. I see you didn't bother to change the cutscenes. I could adjust the white balance, but frankly, this handheld doesn't deserve it. Yeah, this is just the Jungle Book with weird sprites. I never could figure this game out. Reset. Ha! I muted you, uh, I anticipated you this time. Ha! Um, inclement trip. Okay. Inclement trip it is. I mean, there's balls bouncing everywhere. Oh, this is, uh, what is this, like some spy hunter type thing? It, it's, you're playing a, as a guy who's got like some sort of gun backpack thing and he can fire in three directions at the same time. You know, typical stuff you see on the street. Oop. Oh. You're not playing that song again. Let's go backwards, huh? You, you, weapon. Well, okay, we're playing that one. You, you, weapon. That is... That's the title screen. Nice. <laughs> start? Eh? I, I... did Start. There we go. Oh, this is, uh... Kari Warriors? No, I think this is before Akari Warriors. This is something else. You know, it's UU you, you Weapon. Next. Ha, gotcha. You know what? We played the first game. Let's play the 500th game. Billiard. It should be self-explanatory, though, but I made a promise as of four seconds ago that we're playing the first and the last game. This is literally just, Yeah, this is just an eight-ball game that they sniped off of somebody else. Next. No, you don't. What else we got here? Fruit Pig. Pa power Pull Girl. You mean Power Puff? Is that going to be what this is? Oh. Sorry, I had to look at that with my bare, uh, naked eye there. That is one of the Power Puff Girls with like a really creepy uh, palette. Don't like. Oh. It's, um... Is this the Kari Warriors? I don't know. It's one of those run and gun games nes love these but uh yeah it's the powerpuff girls instead because you know didn't didn't they fly all right they, i forgot about them that time let's see uh um i don't know if we're allowed to play number 60 we're gonna skip number 60 <laughs> how about a aether Kavas? You know, the 8-bit classic. To start push. 
That killed me. That did it. What are we doing? Let's get some sound. The heck was that? What? Oh, it's a space shooter, of course. Anyone could have easily guessed that. Uh, I mean, it's all right. Uh, yeah, the D-pad is garbage. What's the best way to describe a thin rubber membrane D-pad? Well, it's exactly like you'd imagine a thin rubber membrane D-pad, where stuff you mean to press isn't getting pressed, and stuff you don't mean to press is counting as a press. <laughs> it's not pleasant at all. Uh, police dog, mouse hero. I wish I could say I went through all 500 games, but... I went through all the games with the, what was it, the 160 and one? Yeah, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> That was a marathon, let me tell you. But I love you guys so much. Castle Excellent. Angry Bird. Sorry, we're playing Angry Birds. Please tell me we have sound. Oh, this isn't Angry Birds, this is Anger Bird. I think I remember this version of Angry Bird. Yeah, see, Anger Bird. Password? I ain't got no password. Yeah, we played something like this recently, I think. I don't know. It seems to be some sort of weird platformer. But see, I had to break these blocks now, so I don't think I can get to that door up there. If you're wondering if the screen looks any better in person with the white balance adjusted, the answer is no. <laughs> so don't worry. Next. I wasn't ready for him that time. You get the point that time. What, let's see, what game is number 327? Let's find that. Yi AR Kung Fu. Sure, I called it. We're playing it. Get that sound going. Is this literally just the Kung Fu game? Uh, no, this is... I forget the name. It was a Famicom game. But it was very basic. Very early Famicom, you know what I mean? Had that early Famicom jankiness to it, but, you know. It's a classic, what be, have you. Now that's just racist. Um, Volgard 2, this time it's personal. Chinese chess? Isn't that Shogi? Or am I can, is that something else? I don't know. Let's find one more, huh? Galaga is probably going to be Galaga. Flappy. Please tell me it's some rendition of Flappy Bird. What the? This is familiar. Why am I walking in the air? Oh, it's a top down. That is. Hold on. Just listen to that. That music legit had me, like, twitching my eyebrow. I think it's time to take this thing apart. What do you say? Where'd that screwdriver go? I had a... Oh, bear with me. I'm getting less screwdriver. Almost there. There. I'm not cutting that out. I'm keeping you guys with me for the journey as we look into this uh, curious specimen here. I feel like since I started watching Smorez's videos, I have this urge to, like, take some of them apart sometimes. But depends on what it is. You know, it's got to be interesting enough. And this, I would say, fits the bill. Come on, you. <sighs> no, you are going to show us the goodness you hide within. And I will not have it any other way. I already see a bat. There we go. Ugh. There we go. We got there in the end. Um, well, it's not too, it's not too janky looking in there. It seems to be, that might be, a. it looks to be a daughter board with a flash chip on it. So I bet they have different batches of games like 601, 201. They just blob them on there with some solder. It makes it easy because you got the motherboard already made here. And you got your epoxy blob, you know, that's your sign of quality. Oh, it's a little battery, but it does add some needed weight to this thing, because otherwise this thing would fly away. It weighs nothing. 
And yeah, it's the screen there. Sometimes I look for jumpers to see if we can jump contacts to get extra games, but um, I don't think we have anything like that here. Doesn't seem to be. Micro USB, yeah, it's got the port labeled. No, that's it. Well, we got a nice look inside at least so we know what makes it tick. And those um, seem to be very last second changes to the board there with those black wires. I don't know nothing about schematics. I just play the games. But yeah, that'd be the ultra thin mini game player. It's funny. It doesn't do anything on its own to stand out. But in its own way, it stands out still with its pretty thin design, blobby D-pad, and kind of hilarious ROM list. <laughs> so yeah, that'll do it for tonight. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shout out to the people listed here. These are the Patreon supporters that allow me to keep doing what I do on YouTube. Wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. There's a Discord server in the description if you want to join there. And on Twitch, I stream every week on Tuesday. Come hang out with us.